Hey everyone, welcome back, or welcome, this is your first time. Uh, I am using a soap this evening that I absolutely love the scent. It's one that is just getting ready to be re-released for this season, and that is none other than WSP's Fresh Vetiver. Here I have it in the Rustic formula, or in their the vegan base. Uh, this comes in at things like 4.6 whatever ounces. I'll kind of denote that below how much it comes in, because in the whatever reason, the rustic, it just says what the grams. It's 125 grams. 123 grams. So little tin, which is perfect for travel. So it's still over four ounces of soap. Uh, I can't remember the exact price again. I'll have that denoted here and the price per ounce. Phenomenal, phenomenal soap. Uh, Y'all know I love WSP. And the scent notes on this one are lemon uh, florals, sandalwood, patchouli, musk, and of course, vetiver. And it is a very nice, fresh, clean scent. Now off the puck, you definitely get a little bit of the floral, florals and the vetiver. You don't get a lot of musk and patchouli, but it's just a nice, clean scent here. It kind of opens up a little bit, opens up a little bit once uh, it's been lathered. So you do get a little bit more of, of that lemon kind of shining through. But that's, again, once it's lathered. But it's still a very, very pleasant scent. Now I have that whipped up here in the Copper Captain Choice Bowl. A little bit on the wet side. Not quite drippy. Almost a Jeffrey Smith lather. This probably will pass the Ewan test as well. When I created the lather, I just scooped out enough to fill the middle section here and had, you can see there, plenty of lather. The brush this evening is the Simpsons Trafalgar. No, I lied. Is the Simpsons Chubby 2 Synthetic. That was generously given to me by a good friend of mine. This is my favorite production synthetic. The knot reminds me a lot of the Evo. To be fair, I had the Evo first. I like the handle on the Evo a little bit more. But this knot just feels a little softer. So I like that a little more. <clears throat> Man, great scent, great face feel. You can see here, I worked a little bit as I worked it. Kind of thickened a little bit from that runniness that I had. The very wet lather. <sighs> I could play this all day. I love WSP. And it's not when you see a whole lot right now being used. The razor this evening is the clog proof with the Gem PTFE. Just, I love this thing, you can just twist. So just cinch that down again, and here we go. Now, as I mentioned, you don't see a lot of WSP being used. My, uh, my friend Glenn did a video with WSP's uh, Cedar Citrone not too long ago. Uh, there'll be a link to Glenn's channel below. And he mentioned that you don't see WSP a whole lot. Uh, talked about Mel or Melanie and how she graduated school, got a full time job, got married. You know, all that kind of takes away from from your other responsibilities. She's doing WSP part time, now, even though she moved out of state from Arizona. WSP is located in Chandler, Arizona, which is a suburb of Phoenix. So I'll continue to work for WSP. Continues, I think, to work for WSP, even though she's no longer in Arizona.
but that is on a, a very limited basis right now. Just because I know her work schedule is very, um, shall we say, demanding with her day job. So if you miss seeing Mel on the various Facebook groups and everything, doing uh, they're doing videos for WSP products. Eric, why? She's just very busy with her normal day-to-day -day job and kind of does WSP very part-time basis right now. But the fact that you don't see WSP a whole lot, to me, is a crime. If you've seen the channel for a little while, you know, I've, I've done a video on this, or with the soap art any, you'll, you'll know that Black Camera Vanilla from them is my absolute favorite scent. It is my goat. WSP, as far as performance, is my top three artisans. And you can see this lather, this is why. This is their rustic or vegan base. Their tallow is just as good, or some is even better. I know they have their detractors because of the tins. And I will say, as someone who primarily bowl lathers and scoops out, tins don't bother me. In fact, if you have limited space available, tins are great because they're smaller. However, you're still getting the same amount of soap or sometimes even more, than other artisans. Now, of course, not all artisans. Do you recognize that, that not all artisans do more than four ounces fills? But just to give you an idea, I just happen to have Everglades from uh, Lather Bros sitting right here. So there's Everglades, four ounces. Fresh Fedver, over four ounces. You can see the size comparison there. And that also. So, quite a bit of difference. Like I said, if you are tight on space and you don't mind bowl lathering, Or potentially, if you're gonna use it a lot and have not we need to worry about water getting in your soaps, you can load off the puck on their tins as well. I've done it. It's a small, smaller opening, obviously. So I can take a little more effort with a larger knot. But it can be done. So I know a lot of people like or prefer to face lather. Look at that. It's just hanging off my ear. Plenty of peaks, plenty of slickness. After I worked it more on my face, it didn't quite pass the Ewan test. Sorry, Ewan. Or for those of you that don't aren't familiar with Ewan, Shaven Butcher. Phenomenal straight razor shaver, by the way. If you're not subscribed to Ewan or Shaven Butcher or Glenn Helly, links below. Highly recommend them both. Just see the uh, razor just singing with the soap and his blade. Oh, 
Change up a little bit tonight. I'm doing my neck first. I know we don't do that. <sighs> beautiful. It's beautiful stuff. All right, what the heck? We'll change it up tonight. You can see with these gem style razors, you want this more, the head, more flat against your head, face like this, with this light angle. Not the same angle you'd use with a DE. The blades are thicker tend to last longer than a DE blade. And for me, because of that, the shaves tend to last a little bit longer before I even notice some stubble on my face. I don't know why I did my mustache share you again. No issues at all against the grain. Plenty of residual with this and just initial sickness as well. So since Fresh Fedora has not been released yet, there will be a link to WSP's website below. Uh, normally what they've been doing recently with their with the seasonal scents is releasing them in both rustic and vegan, or excuse me, rustic and formula T. Formula T is a tallow, just so you know. So the formula teas are tallow base. It's also fantastic. So they normally have been introducing them in both bases. Then of course like the full gamut, the splash, the bath soap, beer balm, that kind of stuff. So because as I mentioned, it hasn't been released yet or released for this year, They'll be linked to just WSP's website. And if you haven't checked out WSP yet, this is a great one to do. Because the scent, it's not very strong off the puck. Probably on the lower end of medium. Probably about a four to a five, four to a five. Once louder, it's about maybe about a four point five to five. So the sun strength goes up a little bit once louder, but not a ton. It does have some decent staying power as well. Now, if you do get the splash, uh, when I bought this, I didn't get, I didn't opt for the splash. There's just quick water, cold water rub down. And double checking the areas if I need to get any more touch ups. There, not bad. We'll call that a good. Finish off a little bit of witch hazel. And like I said, I don't have the splash for this. And my tub's almost halfway gone. So I don't want to order the splash now. If, when I ran out of the soap, I'll, uh, I'll order again and then I'll get the splash for that as well. Because I do really enjoy the scent. So since I don't have fresh vetiver, I don't really have a vetiver splash, I'm going to go with some Irish moss. Irish moss, because this stuff is amazing. Or, sir, 
Sir Irish Moss. Decent restrictor on here, so we'll just go there. <sighs> this is more like a fougere. scent of Irish moss. No burning from the splash. Just an overall very comfortable, very enjoyable shave with WSP. Now, if you have used WSP before, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have used it, what scent have you used? What's your favorite scent that you've tried? What scents do you want to try from WSP? Let me know. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in. If you've made it this far, just over 16 minutes in. Thank you guys for tuning in, for watching, for the support. It means a lot to me, uh, more than you guys will know. So anyway, thank you guys again. I think I've said that about 15 times now. So <laughs> hope you all have a great night. Talk to you later.